Hey everyone, welcome back to another Bleeding Edge Tattoo Supply tech video. Today, we're going to talk about uh, stencil lock. So, as you all know, we never want to distribute anything out of the supply company that I don't use personally in my own functioning tattoo studios. So, when we launched Bleeding Edge Tattoo Supply, finding a proper transfer solution uh, was top of our list. Um, finding something that works well with all different kinds of papers and stencils and holds well but doesn't like stain the skin forever and ever and ever because you still want to be able to get nice uh, photos once you're done. Um, but you also don't want your transfer disappearing in the middle of your tattoo. So we ended up landing on Recovery's stencil lock. Now first off, we like everything about the Recovery line. They use simple non-toxic uh, ingredients in all of their products which is really awesome. We like that and I'll get a little bit more into that later, but most importantly, functionality, right? Now, I'm an old school guy who's been doing this long enough to remember the days when you'd use a bar of deodorant to do your transfers. And there's been all kinds of stuff that's come in between. You know, everything from Hulk to stencil stuff, and you know, there's a million, a million products in between. We've tried them all. And what we landed on, again, was recovery. Their stencil lock is more of a gel, so if, if you're using a product like stencil stuff, you'll notice that that kind of goes on a little bit more like a lotion. It absorbs into the skin and, you know, it, it's, um, it's not really great, especially depending on which uh, transfer paper you're using. So, uh, just to show you guys how this works and how well this works, I'm going to do my own little experiment. <laughs> um, I went and just by hand made a simple little transfer right here. Now, I decided to just grab a sheet of sapphire stencil paper and I just did a simple little transfer by hand. This cute little heart with dagger. So, no machine, it's just a hand stencil. And uh, let's go ahead and try out the recovery. Now, you're going to want to clean the area first. I'm sure you guys are all doing that. It's also health code. Make sure that you are sanitizing your client's skin with 70% alcohol first. Let that dry. Okay, now this stuff is like a gel. It's not like the lotion that kind of gets mixed results. So you don't need a whole lot. Honestly, a little tiny bit is gonna go a long way. That's probably tons. And I'm just gonna put a little bit here. on my wrist, my clean area. I don't have a whole lot that isn't covered in hair, so we're stuck with something small. <laughs> now you want to let this dry a little bit. You want it to go kind of tacky before you put the, the transfer on. That's going to give you the best results. But even still, it doesn't take long, right? Let it air out a wee bit, and then let's just put this guy on. Oh, I think we might end up with a double impression because I don't know how to do this one-handed. There we go. So just like that. Make sure you press your transfer in in all the areas and then pull it away. And there you go. You got yourself a nice solid transfer. Now just like any other transfer solution, you're going to want to let that dry before you actually start tattooing. You know, so go for a smoke if that's your thing or chat it up with your client. And then once it's dry, we can try and wipe it off just to show you how, uh, how much effort this will take. So, this is a little bit like watching paint dry, only this is invisible. All right, so here we are. Uh, I think that should be nice and dry by now. So, again, nice solid transfer. Uh, I mean, should be able to tattoo through that, no problem. Now, just to give that a test too, I went and pre-soaked a few paper towels, just to see how much we can wipe away. Ah, it's staying pretty good. It's staying pretty good. Let's grab another one here. Yeah, so even with like multiple wiping, this is still pretty visible. So 
the stuff works works pretty decent. It works pretty decent. Now, if I really need a gun, let's try it with an alcohol pan here. There we go. Yeah. So, using a good alcohol pad will take it, take away the rest of the transfer if you need to reposition. But of course, if you're if you need to reposition right away, removing it's going to be a lot easier than waiting until it dries. But definitely waiting until it dries. That sucker is going to stay on there pretty decent. So you don't have to worry about bits and pieces of your transfer disappearing, especially if you're working on a giant back piece with lots of detail. So there you go. Pretty simple. There's not too much to go into, but this is our stencil solution of choice. Recovery stencil lock. You're going to love it. If you haven't tried it, definitely, definitely check it out. Um, again, all non-toxic, uh, you know, simple, gentle ingredients. There's no colors, there's no perfumes, no uh, skin or inhalation irritants. So uh, it's, it's great to use. You guys are going to love it, I promise. And by all means, check back here on our page for more updates on new products that we're bringing you guys.